reading from the Gospel of St. Luke. Now the time came for Elizabeth to give birth, and she bore a son. Her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord had shown his great mercy to her, and they rejoiced with her. On the eighth day, they came to circumcise the child, and they were going to name him Zechariah after his father. But his mother said, No, he is to be called John. They said to her, None of your relatives has this name. Then they began motioning to his father to find out what name he wanted to give him. He asked for a writing tablet and wrote, His name is John. And all of them were amazed. Immediately his mouth was opened and his tongue freed, and he began to speak, praising God. Fear came over all their neighbors, and all these things were talked about throughout the entire hill country of Judea. All who heard them pondered them and said, What then will this child become? For indeed, the hand of the Lord was with him. Few things are more painful than the longing for a child within the barrenness of wedded love. Love is meant to multiply and overflow. Few things are more urgent than a woman in labor about to deliver. In today's Gospel, we see the fulfillment of this longing and this deliverance in the fruitfulness of Elizabeth and Zechariah in the birth of John the Baptist. Blessed is she who believed that the Lord would fulfill his promise to her. Deeper than the pain of longing for a child was the longing of the people of Israel for the promised Messiah. God himself would come to save his people from the desperation of sin without a Redeemer. He is coming. This longing is our longing. This truth is our truth. Zechariah's tongue is released as his trust in God is restored, and in the crescendo of Zechariah's canticle to come, we see the babe John preparing the way of the Lord. Amid our weary world, its noise and fear, its divisions and disappointments, have we surrendered everything to him? Have we put these things aside to prepare our hearts to welcome him? Have we prepared our hearts to sing the song of praise, do this infant king our Messiah? O come, let us adore him.